In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple branding for a business using Midjourney, ChatGPT, editing the images using Krita, a free alternative for Photoshop, and as well as creating a sample website using Framer. Before, creating a brand is time-consuming and daunting task, especially if you don't know exactly what your client wants. But now, since we have AIs to help us, it's become much easier and simple. I won't be discussing any more personas since I'll be using myself as the customer and as a client in this example. First step, go to ChatGPT. If you haven't signed up, you can click on the link above this video on how to register. I already did everything so that I won't waste your time. So once you're in ChatGPT, you just type this in. I want to open a online business or whatever business that you have and the, your company name. I'm going to sell a shirt or what product that you have. I want to have an online shop. I need to help to design my logo. My products are premium high quality and will target customers above average income. Imagine a logo. So the word imagine is I, the one I use. A logo for me and describe it and the color should be used as one tone or two tone all right so the point here is that you're asking ChatGPT to imagine a logo for you so he already provided me the information here all right you just copy this information and let's go to mid-journey Second step, now if you are in Midjourney or you haven't used this yet, you can click on the link above this video or I recommend my friend's 80% off AI art course for beginners. He easily explains on how to start on Midjourney and prompts. You can find that in the description below. Okay, I already put in the information here. I didn't put in any dash dash AR, those kind of stuff. I just needed the square shape icon. And this is the result while refreshing and this is the result I needed for the logo so we go to step three okay we're back in ChatGPT and the first thing you need to type in is imagine a landing page for my online shop describe it to me with full details now if you put this in it's going to be a simple landing page well, you can actually make it like uh, more enticing. You can just tell ChatGPT, design the website as an innovative, out-of-the-box website, something really creative and never seen before. Describe to me in detail. So this is the result. You just have to copy this in. Copy this, everything in from homepage to checkout. And then just go back to Mid journey. Okay, now that we're back in mid journey. Okay, so I already put in the information here. Now on ChatGPT, it's kind of long. When I copied it and pasted it in mid journey, it's kind of long. So I just selected the home page. So, but once you pasted the information here, you need to add uh, instructions like dash dash style 4a and dash dash ar3. Uh, colon 2. Now the dash dash AR32 is just for the website so it's going to be wide enough to create the to put it on the landing page and for the style for a this is the old version because the newest version is kind of iffy it, it has artifacts especially uh, with the eyes and the hands so I already created the the image here so uh, i already refreshed everything and this is the image that i was able to get now for step four we're going to e uh, edit this image using krita okay here in step four you can download krita using the link below in the description below so it's free alternative for photoshop so people are asking if there's an alternative for Photoshop, then this one is uh, the one I'm going to use from now because it's free. And so everything in this video is free, by the way. 
since we already selected our image we just have to open it you just click on file and then just open and then this is the image that we selected earlier and then open now as you can see there this one we don't need this one and also the background we don't need it and this one also so we just have to crop this image all right so to crop this you can select this tool here all right and then just click on that and then drag right click and drag okay there we go and then select then click on delete and then control Z now th I know there's another way for you to do this uh, by cropping but this is the best way for me now we don't need this part okay so in order to remove that like in uh, Photoshop there's a an erase bar there um, but this one we're going to use the brush just click on the brush here and select the size that you need so right now we just need it about for about this size and then you need to press and hold control okay press and hold control this will copy the 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 color of the background and when you click on I click on the left part of your mouse and release the control it's going to be the same color as the background so you just have to erase it like that erase erase okay then erase all right so I'm not going to delve on the how perfect it's going to be because it's just going I don't want to waste your time so once you're done erasing that you just go to file and then save as and then save and then okay now we're done now since we already have our logo and also the image for our landing page now we go to step five that would be creating the website using framer now that we are in Framer, here in step 5, if you haven't signed up to Framer, you can click on the link on the description below. This is um, an alternative to Shopify, Wix, Editor X, and Figma. So like every tool, you just need to learn some something new. So I'll show you the basic on how to create a website using this uh, tool. Now there are tons of ways to create a beautiful website using Framer, but I'm just going to go through you the steps for a basic website now that we have our uh, blank page here we just need to click on insert and then click on net the navigation just put that in and then once you have that navigation here just double click on it now it's kind of small so you just click on hold out and then scroll up and then Click on the pan or this hand here and then on the left side just drag on the left side and click on escape now double click on framer and this is where you put in the logo so you just have to delete that okay and then you just insert a layout of for the image the image would be for your logo so here okay and then click on upload then select that image here and then just wait all right there we go that's our image so if you want to go back to the main page just go click on home all right so this is where the image is now we just need to put in the our hero page okay so just select the layout again and click on image and then upload our image here our edited image here there we go and let's just wait 
Okay, there we go. Now that we have our image here, that is very simple. It's just and then just click on insert. Now you can put in anything here for the template. It's easy. You can go to the template. Uh, you don't have to take much of your time. So I'll just click on feature. That's feature card. A uh, feature cards. Then you just edit it. Basically, just double click on edit, and then just look for the name, and then change it. Like this if example, if it, this is the the product that you have, click on the this one. Click on the image, and then on the left right hand side, just click on the image, and then just put in the product that you have, and then you can change this. You just just basically that's it you just put in the information insert then layout that's very simple you don't have to code anything so if you want to know more about how AI can help you in your in your business you can click on the link above this video thank you